fitness five and fives all about junior golfers uh, i'm going to show you five exercises that will really help you uh, help your golf if you're a junior golfer here you go so first one is for the shoulder blades or upper back okay so across the top here Often maybe it might look like uh, due to the lack of range of motion around the shoulders and especially with poor posture as well making it difficult to rotate around the shoulders um, but it could be again that sort of posture issue but also getting the shoulder blades into the right position uh, where you can then be allowed to move the shoulder uh, or rotate the shoulder uh, as much as you should. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go for some inverted flies or some rear delt flies. And I'll show you with dumbbells. I'll show you also with a band as well. And these exercises you can do at home if you've got a couple of dumbbells, light dumbbells or resistance band. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a kind of golf-like posture. So bum backwards, little bend in the knees, nice straight back posture. All you're going to go is nice and wide out with the arms and then back in under control and out nice and wide and then back in under control. Again, not going too quickly with these ones, nice and controlled. And you really want to feel, as you get into this end position, feeling you're working between the shoulder blades, pulling your shoulder blades together, and you feel it across the back of the shoulder as well. So, from the front, it looks something like this. And aiming to keep the arms pretty straight, elbows pretty straight throughout, and definitely not throwing the dumbbells up and swinging them up uh, in an uncontrolled fashion. Similarly, you can use the resistance band, so you can either do this standing or again in the same sort of posture. So pinching on the band, pull out nice and wide, pull the shoulder blades together, and then back down under control, and repeating from there, the band will come across your chest. But we just want to maintain a good back posture throughout the whole movement, and maintain good posture. So the next exercise is a deadlift or a hip hinge movement pattern, okay? So great for awareness, great for control of the body, great for uh, that upper back uh, posture or just general posture as well. Um, thinking about if, uh, if you're junior you golfer and you have this sort of posture, maybe you sat down too much, maybe it's video games, maybe it's school. Uh, we want to be a little bit more this posture, okay? Shoulders back, um, chest up a little bit. Doing the deadlift is great for uh, improving that, okay? So not necessarily adding weight, um, depending on what sport stage you're at. Uh, but we're just going to use a dowel, you can use a golf club, so you can do this at home. So the deadlift movement pattern is, okay, I'll show you from the side to begin with. Down the golf club in nice and close, so you're going to keep it running down your legs through the whole movement. Feet hip width apart, all you're going to do is push your bum backwards, keeping a nice straight back posture. And then bend your knees a little bit just as you run the dowel down to your shins. And then stand up nice and tall, bum squeeze, shoulders back at the top. And then do the same again. Push your bum backwards. Imagine you're sitting on a chair um, down here behind you. So you've got to push your bum backwards, then a little bend in the knees, and then standing up nice and tall. So from the front, feet hip width apart, run the dowel down your legs, bum backwards, little bend in the knees, and stand up nice and tall. Okay, so the weight's going through your heels, or at least to the mid to back portion of your feet, okay? Shins are staying pretty vertical, knees aren't going forwards, okay? And we're keeping a nice straight back posture all the way from the neck, okay? All the way down towards your bum. Up nice and tall, okay? Bum squeeze and shoulders back at the top. We're working the glutes, okay, as well as the whole back uh, with this exercise too. So great for posture, great for coordination uh, and awareness of how our body's moving. Um, doing this in front of a mirror is great to see if you are keeping good back posture or if you are losing, losing posture um, and not performing a good sort of hip hinge movement uh, with this. Um, and not to mention, really essential to do that hip hinge movement pattern to get into a good golf setup position um, or dress position for you there. So next up is a core exercise, so anything uh, around here is kind of the core. Um, so we're going to do a single arm plank. Um, core exercise is really important, not only for junior golfers, but uh, essential for any golfers to help transfer power from the lower body to the upper body, minimise any unwanted movements through the back, okay, being able to hold posture throughout your golf swing um, as well. And often with junior golfers, maybe become a little bit loosey-goosey, um, so they want to maintain that posture. 
um, by using these big core muscles around, around the centre here. So, we're going to do a single arm plank. Let me show you from the side on the three. What we're going to do is we're going to have the hands pretty close together um, and then our feet a little wider apart. So, feet shoulder width are slightly wider and hands really close, okay, to help begin with. Nice straight posture, okay, from the shoulder all the way down to our ankle. What we're going to do is we're going to tap the shoulder, pause for two, back down, tap the other shoulder, pause for two. Okay, and we want to keep this as still as we can. We don't want to be twisting, okay, and compensating and cheating from here. Everything stays nice and still. Tap the shoulder, back down. Let me show you from this side here. So, hands nice and close, keep a little bit wider to help to begin with. Tap the shoulder, one, two, one, two. So this is great for the core, great for a little bit of upper body strength as well. Uh, resisting any unwanted movement, keeping nice and still, nice and stable, and strong through the core, through the rest of the body. So the next exercise is going to be a single leg glute bridge. So one for the glutes, one for your bum. Uh, really important muscle uh, or muscles uh, for golfers, not only junior golfers. Um, great for you know generating power in the golf swing, you know, sort of rotary power. Uh, great for maintaining posture. Great for um, you know staying away from any unwanted movement, keeping that stability um, and keeping posture. Uh, so often junior golfers have weak glutes, haven't done enough glute exercises. So we're going to do a nice simple one to begin with. We're going to do a single leg glute bridge. So you can do this one at home. Popping onto your back. So we're going to put our hands in the air or across the chest. I don't want you to put them on the floor for balance, okay? Feet, heels close to your bum, feet together. All we're going to do is one leg into the air, bridge your hips up as high as you can, pause for a second, back down and then repeat. Okay, same thing again. Okay, so this one's easy not to perform uh, well. Okay, so wh what you're aiming for is hips as high as you can, shoulder to knee should be nice and straight. You'll often see this, okay, I want your hips as high as you can. Really squeezing this glute, okay, this should be really firing. Maybe a little bit in the hand you too, okay, you should not be taking over. Really the spun cheek here uh, on this right side, uh, back down, repeat. I don't want to see any twisting, wobbling, okay, you should be able to hold this no problem, back down and repeat, should be able to do these, okay. Same the other side, so other foot into the air, hips up as high as you can, bum squeeze, back down, repeat, okay, so left bum working this time, hips nice and high, there's a nice straight line from your shoulder to your knee on this left side, okay. Try not to cheat on this exercise, it's easy not to get your hips fully extended, it's easy uh, to wobble around, so really want to stay nice and stable uh, around all of these single leg bridges. Great exercise for the glutes, great exercise for working that sort of uh, side side, uh, separately, left side, right side separately. Uh, great for being able to load up uh, into your trail side, often maybe junior golfers might slide a little bit. Uh, great for working this side separately, really being able to load up this side. Uh, and then actually be stable on the way through once you've hit your golf shot too. So the last exercise we're going to do is a backwards lunge or an overhead backwards lunge. You're going to use it now, you can use your golf club, you can do this at home. Um, so what we're going to do is backwards lunge, great for coordination, great for balance, body awareness, um, but also good for working the glutes, uh, working the lower body, okay, around the hips, um, but also requires core if we're keeping our hands overhead and keeping good posture throughout, okay, so kind of a little bit of the whole body. So let me show you from the side on. Arms overhead, so about shoulder width apart with your arms on the golf club or down. So, arms next to your ears. Slow your feet about hip width apart. All you're going to do is take a big step backwards onto your toe, drop the knee to a couple of inches from the floor, and then stand back up. Okay, then we're going to repeat the other side. So, back onto your toe, drop the knee down to a couple of inches from the floor, and then stand back up. And then repeat, so we alternate left and right from this front leg. We want a pretty vertical shin at the front, break going through the mid to that portion of your foot. Definitely not driving up, okay, onto your toes here. I don't want to see this sort of thing happening. Um, so, and keeping good posture, okay? So not leaning forwards, not letting the arms come forwards, not letting the elbows bend, okay, as we come into this position here. We want to stay nice and tall throughout. And from the front, okay, we want to make sure that we're not leaning from side to side, keeping nice and centered, okay? We're not twisting, turning or leaning, uh, knees aren't dropping inwards. 
So we've done exercises for the upper back, we've done ones for posture, movement patterns like hip hinging, uh, so body awareness as well and coordination. Um, we've got backwards lunge as well for a similar sort of thing. Uh, and core and glutes, okay? So a little bit of strengthening and a little bit of uh, awareness and coordination. Uh, you can do all these uh, exercises at home um, and with just a little space. <laughs>